Mubarak to you all, Ramadan greetings. It's an absolute honor and privilege to be here with you all today at the infamous, very uh, well recognized and renowned Ramadan tent at SOAS. SOAS, of course, always leading the way in uh, uh, advancement in, in many ways. So, big round of applause to Omar and team uh, for doing such a fantastic job. Night, evening after evening, heading towards the 15th of Ramadan. Uh, this cannot be easy, but it's uh, a very creative way of bri building bridges and, and bringing people together. So uh, may God reward them. It's a, it, it's, a, it's a definite advancement from the days that I was in university uh, with a few of us around the table uh, eating just some dates. As Omar had just stated, this is a this is a blessed time. Right now, as we're about to open our fast, in which that. You know, Allah, Lord, uh, God Almighty has reminded us that this is a precious time in which that we make dua and we make prayer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, I have nothing much great to say other than the fact that having had the unfortunate or fortunate blessings to be able to venture into North Syria on the weekend and witnessing some of the horrific uh, scenes that I've witnessed and that we have all witnessed for the last two and a half years, I ask you all to have uh, all those who are in desperate situation right now, irrespective of their faith, their race, their color, or their creed, the one that I'm particularly concerned about at this moment in time are those that are completely blocked off from wider society that don't have access to the basics, food, water, shelter. I was fasting along with those people of Syria under the intense heat of 40 degrees uh, with a tent light much, much weaker than that uh, for those that have been there for almost two years in those desperate situations. So I implore upon you all and plead you, with you all to spend the last next couple of minutes in prayer, in contemplation, in reflection of those that are in un, uh, a less fortunate situation than ourselves, uh, be it separated from their loved ones, be separated from their homes, their food, uh, their water, um, medical conditions are very weak, very, very poor, and sadly the international community has failed in coming to the assistance of all those innocent victims in Syria at this moment in time. So I ask you all, I plead, plead upon you all to remind us of the saying of the Prophet, peace be upon him, the best of you are those who are most beneficial to others. And as Umar and team are living that saying and that hadith, I ask us all and I ask God Almighty to have uh, enable us to live that saying of the Prophet, peace be upon him, be the best who can be of most benefit to others. And uh, I wish you uh, happy Ramadan, Happy Eid if I don't see you uh, until the days of Eid. And these blessed days and blessed nights, we raise our hands in these two or three minutes left to, to, to praise and to be grateful to God Almighty for giving us such a great environment, for giving us such a great institution, for giving us such great company, great food, great drink, and great aspirations that can come into fruition. Sadly, um, those dreams are a distant nightmare at this moment in time for people all around the world and especially those that I visited over the weekend uh, in Syria. So let's take this moment of togetherness as an act of worship or as an act of gratitude so that uh, we are in an extremely privileged position with a cool breeze after a hot day with water, with food, with great company, and the blessings of God Almighty. Thank you very much, all, and uh, may God be with you.